Dr. David Ron, you shared with us today your lecture on gritty Sabbath rest. And you began, as you have in, uh, in some of our questions, by saying we, we need to reframe our understanding away from Pharisaic, away from utilitarian and instrumental, away from uh, psychological, into this affirming, joyful time with God, this, this, this way of looking forward to it as a place of joy and, and restoration. And then you come to the title of your lecture, Gritty Sabbath Rest. That's a provocative title. Why gritty? What, what is gritty adding to this notion of joy? What's the, what's the significance? Well, there, there are twofold reasons, and both were compelling to me. First of all, uh, as somebody who's, who works with Youth for Christ, and I'm, I'm thinking now the kind of kids that we work with are unsophisticated. They're not, church, not on a church's radar screen. Um, a lot of times, increasingly, uh, it's the urban kid with facing chronic adversity. Um, grit's a good word for them. You know, those kids are resilient. They can be heroes. When they come to faith in Christ, it's like they're, it, for whatever reason, it seems like their, their level of, um, of commitment is just, it's heroic to me. So that's part of it is, is like, I want Sabbath rest to work for that kid, that kid who was a gangbanger not too long ago, but who's now trying to make sense of their faith. And, and this actually has some hope to it. But the, the second was the, the, the great research that we, we came across from Angela Duckworth, uh, published in the book Grit, which is about effort. It's about, I mean, when I think about growing in my faith and growing towards a, a life that's full of joy, do I have to make any effort? And where should I apply that effort? And by the way, that effort will consume some of my time. It will consume limited capacities that I have. So I'll have to stop doing something and put some, put some effort in something else. And it's the notion of grit gives me some clarity about the allocation of effort. That is, grit um, locks on to a passion and a clarity about the end game. In this case, I think it's about living more of life with the Lord in, in conjunction with Jesus. He's my all out, all in companion. I immerse my identity in him. That's what, you know, that's the end game. How do I grow in that? Well, I need to learn more. Why would I think that my current practices actually get me there? I need, I need tutoring, I need coaching. It needs to be customized. And, and so it means I might get some some ideas from you and from others that I love and admire. But I really need the Holy Spirit to be working in me and, and coaching me on this. And, and by the way, it'll take hours. That's, that's one of the outcomes of grit. Perseverance. Like, in this direction, persevere, give it great effort, and keep persevering. And it's one of the reasons that we, uh, we had fun uh, invoking Brother Lawrence as an exemplar of what we think of as gritty Sabbath rest and life with God.